is good. Beer is good. Beer is good. And stop. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to this episode of the Beer Chasers. I'm Preston. Today we're joined by Mike from At the Bar Podcast. We got Will Dahl. Gentlemen, how's it going? Good. Great. So we've been talking about doing this one forever. It's a quadruple blind taste test. Mike, what do we got? We have La Trap. We have Rockford 10. We have Golden Drac 9000. We have the Three Philosophers. We have the Straff Henrik. We have the St. Bernardus 12. And we have the West Volterra 12. All right, well, so for those who might not have seen one of our blind taste tests, how are we going to do this? All right, we're going to taste all seven beers. We're going to rate them one through seven. The one with the most points gets a full review. Sounds easy enough. You guys ready to do this? Absolutely. Mike, you're up first. Now it's time to do a blind taste test of beers I've never had. tasting the quadruple it's time to reveal the winner so coming in last place I have to say we have a tie so we don't have a seventh place we have a sixth place okay so our sixth place winner is the fifth beer we drank so literally last place in this taste test mm -hmm. is gonna be the fifth beer we had which was the trap okay all right so uh, not surprising you know I, I think it's still a great beer oh yeah they're all good yeah they're all good yeah all right Definitely. So coming in, we had a tie for fifth, so I'm going to reveal both these at the same time. Okay. It was beer number two and beer number three, which was the Pringles can. We had <laughs> Strap Hendrick and Golden Drax. So these came in uh, tied for fifth, so they both had nine points okay. together. All right. All right. So you would, sir. Thank you. All right. So coming in fourth place, the first beer we had, which was Road for Ten. All right. All right. Right. Coming yeah, in third you. place was the sixth beer we drank, which was Bernardus 12. Okay, all right. So that leaves us with the winner. Drum roll. The fourth beer we had, which was West Volterran 12. All right. Wow. So, all know, right. I guess, is it worth the hype? Which leaves us with our second place beer, Three Philosophers. That's the surprise. Uh, so that, that is probably the surprise of the day. I, I imagine if that was going to score anywhere, it would have been kind of towards the bottom. Okay. Just because these are all the big Belgian, ready, yeah. you know, and it's not that, uh, you know, Almagon does a bad job with their beer. Right, but, right. Uh, what do you guys think? Surprise or? Well, I'm very surprised. Yeah, I'm very surprised in how high the Almagon landed mm -hmm. compared to the St. Bernardus and the Road for right. 10. Well, let me go through a couple more stats here. So we play a little game of trying to guess which beer was what. Mike, as he'd mentioned in his uh, his opening, he's never had a quad. Never. <laughs> let alone any of these quads. So right. he was disqualified from the game. So Will and I both tried to guess what beers are what. I'm sad to say, Will, you got zero right. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> say. Uh, I managed to, to name five of the beers. So the Roquefort and the Straff got me mixed up. The rest over, I actually uh, nailed correctly. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy with that. I think five out of seven, you know, really I missed one, which made right. me miss the other one. Right. Not right. bad. And then uh, we can go over basically who liked what the best. So Mike, your favorite pick was the Westie. All right. Yeah. And your least favorite was the La Trappe, which was our last place. Okay. Pick. Will, your favorite was the Roquefort, mm -hmm. with your least favorite, the La Trappe. So you guys both were consistent there. 
My favorite was the Westie. And uh, my least favorite, I'm sorry, my favorite was the Bernardus. My least favorite was the Straff. Okay. So, so you like the Bernardus over the Westie? Yeah, ju just a hint. My, the Westie was number two for me. I could definitely right. tell they were very similar beers. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe it's just the familiarity with the St. Bernardus 12 is kind of why I went with that one. Mm -hmm. uh, but definitely very close beers. And I think we'll get into that uh, when we do the taste here momentarily. Mm -hmm. We're going to clear the table, get some uh, more tasters for us, and uh, give a proper review. All right, so here we have the winner, West Platerian 12. Let's go ahead and go through the uh, ratings. Absolutely. All right, let's check out the appearance. Definitely uh, that, that brown uh, that you expect from a uh, Belgian quad. Yeah, cloudy too. Very cloudy. Yeah. Um, looks great though. It kind of looks like a, a leather, at least on the, the, the inner part of the glass. Yeah. yeah like a leather, leatherish brown. Yeah. And it, it kind of turns into like a, like a lighter brown. Yeah, and I was gonna say there's maybe like a slight hint of like ruby redness. I mean, just like a, a yeah. small touch of it. Yeah, I, I can. Yeah, especially on the outer edging of it. Not as dark as I would expect. Yeah, it's still dark, but it looks more like a brown. All right, gentlemen, what do you want to rate the appearance? A one to five. Uh, I'd probably give it a three and a half. Um, I'll go four. I mean, it, it look it looks nice. It definitely looks you know appetizing. Yeah, I'll go four. It looks great. I definitely want to drink it now. All right, <laughs> let's go for the smell. There you go, bready, malty, a little bit of um, a little bit of that fruit kind of plumminess. Yeah, I was gonna say like, raisin, kind of like a raisin, dried, dried fruit. Yeah, I got the breadiness there, but it's not as heavy on the bread as I would expect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like a, like a slight biscuit too. Yeah, if you yeah. pick up any kind of the fruitiness, a little bit of uh, plum absolutely. raisin. Yeah, I'm picking up a lot of fruit, and for for me, raisin. Mm. All right, what do you want to rate the smell? Uh, it's I. Enjoy it. I think the smell, I would, I would probably give it a four. I'll go five. I think it's amazing. Beautiful. Perfect. 4.5. 4.5. Well, we've tasted it once. We're going to taste it twice. Cheers, fellas. Cheers, fellas. What's the Terran 12? It's good. It's very good. That's real good. Nice breadiness. Love the finish. I love yeah. how it starts getting sweet. You breathe out through the nose. Oh yeah, it's very multi-dimensional. Mm. You get more of a breadiness on the flavor, and the biscuit on the flavor, and then less of the fruit. So they kind of counteract each other. Yeah, like that that uh, straw Hendrick we had earlier. You know, um, the fruitiness came after, like in the aftertaste. That kind of comes to the forefront in a little bit. Here. Yeah. And then the aftertaste isn't isn't so fruity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a little less hot than I think the Bernardus. Now that I'm drinking this one away from everything else, yeah, um, it's kind of nice. I know I rated the Bernardus better, but maybe we're gonna have to do a comparison between the two and Absolutely. see kind of you know how those go. Yeah. Um, but for this one right now, um, what do you what do you I like mean, on the taste? It's great. I'd probably give it a five. Five. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> That's why it won, right? Can I give it a, I give it a six? <laughs> uh, and for the mouthfeel, what do you guys think? It's Belgian quad it's thick. Yeah. Lingers, gives you that bready, yeasty mouthfeel to it. It's it's a home run. Yeah, I mean, definitely bready, definitely a medium to thick mouthfeel, just mm -hmm. like you'd expect it to. Sticks around long, nice finish. Oh yeah, awesome. You know what the ABV of this is? Uh, not off the top of my head. Ten, I think okay. it's like ten point two. Mm -hmm. It tastes like it for sure. I mean, it's yeah. nice and heavy. It's but it's also not um, not bad. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. Not bad. Not bad. That's All right. right. How do you like the mouthfeel? Five. Five. <laughs> Too rich for you? <laughs> no, it's actually not uh, not as rich as the straw. I was actually kind of surprised by that. But as far as mouthfeel goes, yeah, definitely a five. All right. Smooth. So overall, I think between all of us here, it's definitely approaching that 4.5, 4.75. Oh, yeah. oh, absolutely. I think the smell is pretty much the, the most lacking part, is, as any of us think. Or is it the appearance or the appearance? I think it's the appearance. I think I would have liked it to be a little bit darker. Mm -hmm. I think that's where I kind of took a couple points off. It's kind of light, though not a bad thing, but I was expecting something a little different. All right, I think the final verdict here is, would you go beer chasing for this one? So... <laughs> Thankfully, we had a hookup. Thank you, Anne Marie. She been, she been sitting on a couple of these and, and hooked us up. I won yeah. one in one of her raffles, and uh, she had a stockpile of these somewhere. Somehow, uh, sold us a couple more. But mm -hmm. to get them shipped from Belgium, it's possible. But it's about forty bucks a bottle once you include shipping. So, mm -hmm. 
to get a six pack over here, you're talking 240 bucks. Yeah. Is it worth a $240 six pack price? I'm gonna say no. Uh, I'm gonna say, yeah, I think it is. So you'd, you'd beer chase with this, you'd spend the 40 bucks, get it. Obviously not every weekend, you're not gonna be passing Absolutely down, not, but, but I mean, if, you're, if you love Belgian quads, this is like the king, arguably the king of Belgian quads. So why, if you love Belgian quads, why not splurge? Well, I mean, there's Bernardus 12 now, which again, we're probably going to have to do a side-by-side -side comparison, and we'll probably be able to answer the question a little better then. Right. Um, so maybe we'll just go ahead and cut this down. Will, do you have any thoughts? What do you think about beer chasing for this one? Would you pay 40 bucks a beer for these, you know? Um, maybe if I hadn't already tried it, you know, then I would probably do it. I think it's great, but I mean, considering that some of the other ones were so close, mm -hmm. um, it's kind of hard to, to justify it. Um, you know, some people would be willing to do that just because of the rarity of it. For me, I'd be happy just getting a, you know, Bernardus 12 and, and, and enjoying my day in there and not paying as much. So, because it's such a steep price, I would have to say no. Okay. And I think you put a good point there is that if you've never had it, I think it'd be worth getting it once. Yeah. Um, this, is, this isn't something I'd beer totally. chase again, but it was worth beer chasing once and getting it. Right. Yeah. Awesome. Well, gentlemen, thank you very much. Appreciate your thank time. You. Um, like I said, I've been looking forward to this since episode one. I've been talking about wanting to do oh, yeah. a quad blind taste test, but I wasn't going to do it until I got West Platarian 12 in the mix. We finally got it, had a chance to try it, and it won. Yeah. So yeah, I nice. guess that's going to wrap up the episode. I'm Preston, Mike, Will, we're the Beer Chasers. We'll see you later. Beer is good. Beer is good. Beer is good. And stop. Beer is good. Beer is good. Beer is good. Let's go drink some beer.